Man. <laughs> Come on, man. Already? This your boy Black Dash, man. 813. Follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. Black Dash 813. The word dash and the letter numbers 813. We've already cut the kicker, man. Already. Hard Knocks is going to be interesting this Tuesday. Very interesting. I I was really pulling for this dude, man. I really was. But at the end of the day, I mean, he made his own bed. So now uh, Nick Foles is our, our kicker right now. I'm pretty sure we're probably bringing in some competition for him. But you can't miss no field goals, man. You've done all that last year. You cannot miss no more. You're supposed to know that. For this dude to have so much potential for what he did at Florida State, and for me to see it with my own eyes, being a Florida State alumni, and for us to waste the extra pick on this man, to trade up and get this man in the second round, where we could have got a corner, a safety, or a linebacker, or a defensive end. That's pissed me off, man. But, hey, that's the breaking news, man. I mean, it happens. That's part of the lead. Like I said, Hard Knocks is going to be real interesting. Um, I wanted to touch on that before I even get to the game because that's the shocking news of the day. So the game went pretty good last night for the first quarter. Um, D-line just looked horrible last night. I don't know why. Maybe because Chris Baker is moving to inside uh, D-tackle where he's used to playing on the outside and defensive end. Um, I don't know. Maybe just the fact that we got to give the Bengals credit. They have three solid running backs. They look really, really like they were just running all up on our, off in, our D line. Um, so we need to bring more pressure. Uh, but hey, that's the first game, and it's only preseason, so this one doesn't count. Offense look amazing. Um, we could have put up some more points early. You know, I take seven points over three any day if the kicker makes it. But. Um, we look good. I mean, James look very good. Evans looks like Evans times two um, because Deshaun is there. Deshaun had a, a catch. The thing about Deshaun Jackson is don't worry about the number of catches he gets. Just worry about the yards that he gets after the catches. He can get – he's the kind of receiver that gets four catches and gets 80 yards or 90 yards. He's not a receiver that gets – Seven catches, eight catches, nine catches, and half, 60 yards, 70 yards. That's not him. He's a person that catches one or two, maybe at six yards here, seven yards here. And that third catch, he goes for 40 or 50. So don't worry about him. He's good. Also, they were having him double team majority of the game. So um, don't worry about him. He'll get that. That's why Evans had what he had early. So um, very impressed with that. Um, if our tackles get hurt, we are going to have some issues, obviously. Um, we we definitely need to work on our depth chart with that situation. Um, I really liked uh, kind of what Ryan Fitzpatrick did. I mean, he looked like a, a seasoned quarterback. Looked very good uh, for, our, for us as a backup. Uh, the defense, the, the corners did not play that bad. Vernon looked very good yesterday. It is paying off for him to work against Deshaun Jackson and Mike Evans in practice. He looks so good. That pick he got yesterday seemed like he baited Andy Dalton to that. Looked like he baited him, like the whole drive. So that was very, very good. I definitely expect big things from him. Another person that played very well was Justin Evans. I don't know if you guys seen him, um, although he played a lot of it. He looked pretty good. What I like about him is exactly what I said when we drafted him and what he showed at A&M. He comes down, and he is not afraid to tackle. So that is very good. We need a safety like that who can come down and tackle. So him, J.J. Wilcox looks really good. He looks like he likes to tackle, and that's what we need in our safeties. Um, Chris Connie is good. I just feel like Evans is going to come in, and he's explosive as well. So that's going to make it very, very good for our front seven because they're coming down making tackles. Vernon is already a good tackler. Brent Grimes didn't play yesterday, which is the reason why they kind of moved the ball up and down because we had, you know, another person in instead of Brent Grimes. If Brent Grimes is in there with VH. I think we're talking about a totally different situation in a couple of those drives. So, um, but we didn't look bad. Um, when they got deep and deep into the depth chart, 
things got kind of a little rocky. Um, Griffin, our quarterback, Ryan Griffin, didn't really look that solid to me. Um, he's third string quarterback, so he didn't really look that that good. I didn't really like him too too much. The receivers kind of were dropping a few passes. Um, really didn't look that bad on kick return. Josh Huff really really got me excited about what he did. Hopefully he can do that through the whole special teams throughout the whole season because he messed up last year. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, I expect for him to prove that he can do more throughout the season to continue the success. Uh, Hard Knocks is going to be interesting this Tuesday, man. For us to release our kicker, and I don't know if you guys seen, but when they were previewing, uh, previewing, excuse me, next Tuesday, they had Chris Baker talking to Nick Foles, talking about, I bet he's not going to make it, you know, trying to pump him up and motivate him. So they were already talking about the kickers and all that in the next, the next episode. Now we've released one. This is going to play a huge, 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 huge part. So, um, but yeah, man, um, football is back, son. It's really back. Um, James looked really good. Like I said, Quan looked really good. Man, he had five tackles early, man. Levante David was doing what he was doing. I really like how that front seven kind of played. I wish they could have, like I said, that D-line, wish they could bring a little bit more pass rush. But again, we have to give credit to the Bengals. They're not just some pushover team. You know what I mean? So, um it is what it is, man. Um, the Jags next week, man. We got to do some big damage. We got some, some definitely a lot of things to improve on. I really hope that we don't see Jameis, Evans, d Jackson them as much next week. Um, I really want them to sit so we can see more Fitzpatrick and Griffin a little bit more. You know, and also these running backs at Peyton Barber. Jeremy Nichols didn't get that many carries he got in. I want to see more of him as well. Um, also, Chris Godwin had a catch. I want to see him just a little bit more. Uh, so I'm excited, man. I mean, they look good, but I want to see more of the depth, you know, because starters can play so well, but if somebody goes down, knock on wood, we, we expect one of these backups to step up and make moves. So, again, uh, I really hope to see more of them against the Jags, you know, battle in the States. Um, I really want to see what they look like. First team, first team looks good. Take Vernon out of there. He already had his pick. He's proven what he's doing. Have him play a drive and then take him out. We need to see more guys in because obviously Brent Grimes is uh, not playing. Also, I don't know if you guys heard, but about Jude, everybody knows that he's having season engine sur season excuse me season ending surgery. So we need to figure out more about our corners. Robert McClain needs to get in a little bit more as well. We need to see what he looks like. Ryan Smith needs to continue to be in the rotation because that slot position is going to be very key. So, uh, but yeah, guys, man, I'm signing out, man. Uh, very good week. I'm ex definitely excited for Hard Knocks coming up. The first episode was pretty solid, uh, just touching on everything, basically. Um, we see the ins and outs and how it works. Definitely like how DJ put up in that Lambo in the beginning, though. So, um, I'm excited, man. We'll see what happens, man. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted once again. Uh, but Nick Foles is our kicker, man. We got to sign another one so we can see more competition and see how this goes. 